So here we are, um, lucky enough to get the Capita Kazoo Pro 157. Um, you know, I just rode the 2017 a few weeks uh, before, and we were lucky enough to get the 2018 demo. Thanks, Capita. You know, it might sound weird to you, but we're doing a little time traveling here. We're, we review, yeah, we're reviewing 18 and 17. And uh, this Kazoo Pro is a really, now that I kind of got used to its personality of the 17, 17 really surprised me. I thought it was gonna be this kind of like more tapered, kind of surfy, free ride board, like kind of maybe like a few years back, like the BSOD was, or like, you know, kind of like in the realm of like some of our favorites, like the Yes Pick Your Line and other things like that. Mm. But it really changed, it really surprised us when we got on on this. You can see, it really doesn't feel like a tapered directional free ride board. And take a look at the on the table review with the camber profile. It's it's basically camber from the tail to pass the to pass the front binding and then rocker in the nose here. But and then there's a you know there's a bit of a taper on the tail. But other than that, it kind of looks like a twin, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. um, it kind of rode like a twin. Felt and it's, like not, a... it's not that set back, and it was pretty buttery and poppy and playful, but it also liked to straight line and charge, and it turned pretty quick. And uh, the last time I was riding the Kazu, I was riding it with Adidas uh, Samba or, um, or the Superstar, which weren't very responsive boots. And now that I got it paired with the Adidas Tactical ADV, which are a great fit for this, with my Union Atlas, I noticed that the response is better. It's kind of like, wouldn't you say it's like medium quick? The response is medium quick, yeah. Yeah, it kind of borders on medium, medium yeah. quick. It wasn't quick, quick, it was medium. Yeah, but it likes a straight line, it likes a nose press, a tail press, I like tail butters, I wasn't just, I didn't feel that they were that easy. Did you? Uh, yeah, but I'm strong. <laughs> Look at those big muscles. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I guess I'm leg weak on the tail. I felt the nose was easier. Yeah, you know, you know. the nose is a little easier, yeah. gentle reader. And, and you can kind of see the flex here. You know, it's, it's kind of a medium stiff flex, but it feels a little softer in the tip and tail, a little more playful, a little more buttery, but this really has kind of like, a free ride all mountain freestyle kind of approach to things, right? Mm -hmm. Even though it's got some directional float, and we got in a little bit of powder, some groomers, some carving, some turning, and some playing around for the last two days, and uh, had a pretty good time with it. I think it's a fun board, but I think it lives in that world where it's not quite like an all mountain board, all mountain freestyle board, and it's not quite a free ride board, so it's gonna have a very unique appeal while it's a very good board, I think it's gonna just to appeal to a certain type of rider. Yeah. Like if you wanna get really set back, directional and surfy, this isn't your board. But if you want a twin type of ride to sink, a, for the tail to sink a little better and powder and have a little more directional riding but still have a twin feel, I think that's what the Kazu Pro's for. And I like it much better now that I have my tactical ADV boots on yeah. and uh -huh. um, I just thought it was fun, it, it was fast. Bindings on there. Now what's the one thing we both complained about? The finish phase of the turn of the edge. The edge. The edge hold. Yeah. Because it locks and loads, but there's just some points in the of the edge hold where it doesn't where it gives way. It just lets go. No let's matter go. what no yeah. matter what kind of trickery so you can't really like no can't matter really what trust kind it. of torsional trickery yeah. you use. It just lets go. So you yeah. gotta just like be lighter on your feet and hit the, <coughs> the like the finish phase of the turn before you yeah. change edges and that's how I felt uh, like with almost every capital board I just feel like the edges just never want to every time we got into a critical situation in steeps and we hit that hard snow yeah. it didn't grab and go through it just slid out yeah it slides out for sure. yeah I you think I even have footage that I might put in somewhere we had this put really like treacherous line point. where it was like caption nice soft snow yeah. and then all of a sudden you'd hit this hard patch and it would just totally just challenge your edge as much as possible and it would just let go. It's like, you know when the, you're <laughs> standing on a rug? Yes, you member from the audience. It was a, it was a road, a concrete road that you hit. Yes. Yeah. Was that icy? Well, yeah, it's it's like like when, was, was snow meant. When you stand on the rug and your friend pulls the rug off from you? No. Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> that's how it felt. 
Yeah, and I, I, that was just you know, and this and this board. Wait, me, come on, this board. No matter what, any time I hit a hard patch with this, no matter where I was, I always felt it let go. Where when we were comparing it against other boards with different side cuts, uh, they held better in some places. Yeah, I'm so that's, if that's that's just like the one little shortcoming, Kappen is really pretty well-rounded board besides that. Yeah, and that's that would be our only thing. We'd just say it's a good conditions ride. And uh, it's a great kind of like hybrid between, you know, kind of mountain freestyle, all mountain and free ride. And it really, um, we're gonna call it free ride, but you can call it whatever the hell you want. So Don't there it is. It for dinner. Yeah, that's the Kazu Pro. So Zobi, what'd you think of the Kazu? Kazu, another uh, Capital Line, one of my favorite board vendors. Thank you, C3. Um, Kazu was at first, Take me, it took me a couple of runs to get into it. So, yes, or two days ago, the condition were a little bit iffy. So, uh, we were stuck on some uh, little soft, slow runs, and Akazu was definitely not very responsive. It was kind of slow and sluggish. It didn't. It was just kind of like, okay, it's kind of bored. Um, you could still play around. You could still get down the run, but it wasn't what it wanted to do. Uh, so then. Uh, I had Beastie go up a little higher so the snow was a little firmer and then it just kind of opened up. So it, it wanted to have that little bit of speed boost and then it really kind of went edge to edge really well. It turned exceptional. The, the shock absorption on some jumps was fun. Buttered, nice and fun and easy. So yeah, so I enjoyed it. it it's probably not my favorite. You um, like the BSOD better? I like the BSOD for my, my taste a little bit better. Uh, but for a free ride style board, um, it could definitely open up depending on what you're Yeah, it was now. a pointer, huh? Yeah. 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 And it was kind of weird too, huh? Because uh -huh. it was kind of like a t tapered twin with yeah. rocker so, in the nose. It didn't feel like free ride. It no. didn't feel like all mountain. Yeah, it felt it, like it felt like a little bit of each. It tries to bridge a little bit of a gap, and it didn't do either very well. Um, but it still gets you down the mountain. It's fun. Uh, so it just depends on your, your riding. Again, like I said, I like the BSOD a little bit better for my tastes um, for a free ride board. So, But uh, the Kazu, it's, it was still fun. It turns exceptionally well when you go fast or faster. So a little bit slower, it was a little sluggish. Yeah, it likes that bomber. Yeah. Bomber boy. Right. So there you have it, Zobes.